How you doing? Um, my name is Hisela and I'm the owner of Sun by Heaven. And I would like to um, share with you guys how I make my crumble wax for my dessert candles. Um, you can use this for cheesecake or pies um, to make um, cobbler candles. So the first thing that we're going to need is a container where we can pour our wax. Um, you can use a bowl. For me, I prefer to use a silicone um, cake mold. I get this one from Amazon. And I like them because they're easy. One, they're easy to clean. And two, um, the wax won't stick to it. And you can just also crumb and break the wax inside them easily. Um, you're going to need a fork that you no longer use for food. Um, you're going to need a skewer to stir your thermometer, your fragrance oil, and your um, candle dye. The candle dye that I'm going to use is going to be uh, cream. Because right now that's cream gives me like a caramel kind of grand cracker um, look. So, I'm gonna, do I have it here? No, I don't have it. Okay. So, I'll be back. Let me get my color. Okay. So, now I'm also gonna recommend you to have a Ziploc bag. This is a gallon size. So, you can store your um, crumbs once you make it. You can use a plastic container to store them. I'd rather have a, a, a plastic bag because... It takes less space. Um, the liquid dye. Um, I get my liquid dye from candle wicks. That's the, the dye for candles that I use and I prefer. And I've been using from the beginnings for years. So candle wick liquid dye. In my opinion is one of the best. So I'm going to pour my wax. When you pour wax, you're going to pour. You don't going to fill up the whole container. You're going to kind of like do um, like one quarter of the container. So I'm going to show you guys in a minute. Let me get my wax over here. Okay, this is how much wax I'm getting. It's not a lot. So I'm going to add my dye. So one, two, three, four. That will give me that brownish caramel. Look, the temperature is 164 and my fragrance oil I'm gonna use dulce de leche you really don't need to add much if you're gonna use it as for to making crumbs now, if you're going to use it as a wax mail, you probably will have to add a, a more and I've been doing this for quite a lot, so that's why I do it like this. But I'm going to get my scale and I'm going to show you guys also with a scale for those who always want to know can I exact measure all the amount of that, I, that I do. So you're going to keep mixing it and what I like to do with my silicone mold is that I like to kind of spread it around and because it's a, it's a blend of pillar wax so it tends to cool up a little faster 
So the more you do that, you can see it creates a layer. And you can just start pushing the layers down. And repeat. You can see this help your wax to cool off faster. And it's okay if you get crumbs because that's what you want to do anyway. You want to crumb. So I know a lot of people immediately put pour a certain temperature in there. Um, use the fork in my opinion when I do it like this my crumbs tends to be more even and more separate so it's not it really looks like I crush and you can see the wax is getting cooler and I'm only using the, the screw. And you can see it's already getting all pasty, kind of like a paste. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking it to the side. And spreading it. So as I do that, the rest over here is getting cold. Now I'll do this again, and you can see. My crump is getting shape um, I do not recommend to use um, soy wax to make crumbs because one it takes too long to set and also it can be very sticky very messy a different that you if you use a pillar um, blend or <coughs> paraffin soy blend um, it will be easier and your crumbs will separate better and it will be easy for you to spread it so you just spread a little Okay, so here we go. Mm -hmm. And we do it this again. You guys can see I'm separating everything from the edges or the mold. And this is why I recommend a silicone mold <coughs> instead of a bowl. Because you really get more, more flexibility on the movement and on cleaning and getting all the wax out of it without 
thinking that it's gonna be hard to to clean it up later because all the wax is gonna fall off so hold on here so now that our wax is like this it's crumble but it's not ready now I'm gonna spread it with a fork to the sides Once we spread it to the side, we're going to put it aside and we're going to leave it to set. So I'm going to start with the other batch. So I'm going to put my fork in here. Let me get the scale very quick. All right, I got my scale here. Gonna run on. I'm gonna put my silicone mold on top. I'm gonna tear and I'm gonna pour my wax. So I'm gonna tell you how much wax I put in here. It's exactly four ounces of wax. So we're going to add our color, one, two, three, four, four drops, I'm going to start mixing my color. And I'm going to add my fragrance oil. I use half a half an ounce. <clears throat> okay, let me take the scale out of the way. <clears throat> and here I am mixing my color again. Mixing my fragrance oil. And we repeat the same process that we did with the other one. We spread it on the side of our mold. We do it around like two or three times, or four or five, depending on how you feel. I do it until I see a visible ring of wax forming that is kind of showing me the color and showing me so once I see it like that that is you can see the ring I break the ring down and mix it again And again, I go around 
this time because it's already the dot is already mixed is a little thicker so you keep doing it a few more times this way the wax cools faster because you're constantly moving it you're not giving it time to set so it's like you're telling it directly you're telling him i don't want you to set <clears throat> you see what I'm saying about the silicone mold you just need to scrape easily with the with the thing and just then you can spray it around. So you're going to do again the same. And we switch again with a fork we just go to the side Okay, we're gonna let this set and we go back to our previous. You can see with the silicone mold, I just take it down.
hope you guys can see. We're gonna let it cool up a little more. I really like using more of my little stick than than the fork. I'm gonna turn on the fan next to me, so that will help cool up. Pull the wax faster so that way I can start another batch because I normally feel I normally feel this back all the way that way I don't have to worry about making crumbs every single time <coughs> and have it ready when I need it Will I recommend um, crumbs as a wax mill? Eh, why not? Um, I don't know. Some people do it, so it's up to you. So I have nothing against that. If that works for you. Honestly, I don't see nothing attractive on using crumbs as a wax mill, but I'm only using use them for my candles
can keep making it thinner just by crushing it with your fork that's if you want to make it thinner just like that After you crush it with your fork, you fluff it. And there you have it. You just make crumbs with me. So if you like this video, please remember to like, share and subscribe, subscribe, give a thumbs up and thank you once again. Um, remember to follow us on Send by Heaven social media, Instagram and Facebook. Please stay safe, stay strong, stay blessed. Bye.